Hey, I'm Josh Wolf. And I'm Jacob Wolf. And this is Family Tussle, the father son competition show where the loser has to do an embarrassing punishment. Let's go! Well, today we are doing, it's a model competition. A uh, rack filled with clothes will be put in front of us, and we will get to choose two outfits. We're going to be judged on our style and our catwalk. He's gonna try and win based on comedy or style points. Raw sex. I'm I'm bubbling with testosterone. Probably not at my age. You know that little swish walk where that leg comes in front of the other? Where you have to be careful not to squish your nuts together? Strategy going into the competition, flipping the hair, a lot of hips in the walk. You know, just some stuff I've picked up some from a Victoria Secret fashion show. I've seen Zoolander like 40 times. So. Get ready to kiss my heels, baby. Cause this walk's gonna be fierce. So we're in the dressing room. Today is the model competition. Part of the thing we're being judged on is our style. So we have to pick our own clothes. Luckily, our stylist, Nicole, is here. So she'll be able to give us suggestions. And she's not going to say what's good and bad. She can't do that. But we'll be able to read that poker face. Huh. Yeah. OK. All right. I think I'm just going to go straight none real quick. I can hear you. Oh, yeah, that's true. What's, I forgot, I forgot, like, this isn't like the magic of TV. Like, he's no. literally. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's not like I'm in a dressing room. There is a small place wall in between us. Why like, can you look over that, you tall fuck? What I'm worried about this is it's so high waisted in. I think I'm going to have a friend on either side. Yeah, at least just take one ball from you, right? That's a great idea. All right, let's put it out. All right, that's a nun. Nuns don't usually have dicks like that, but that's interesting. It's not that bad. Oh! We gotta hold it like that. Okay, hold it like that. No, you hold it like that. I hold it like that? You know how when you walk, you gotta cross it over. You gotta have a little ass. You gotta have a little swag. I feel like I've got my outfit. I think I got mine. I think I'm ready. Each one of us gets to choose a look for this competition, so I thought I'd choose one that he knows nothing about. First look, 70s swinger party. You know, a lot of people used to call my dad Mr. Mom growing up. I'm not sure why, but that's why I chose this look. And this look is 80s mom. Candace, what was your first impression of all that? You know, they had me at nipples. That's all I have to say. Um, I, it was hard for me to concentrate after that. Lopsided breasts. Yes. Did you notice that? I think it gave it character. OK. You know? Well, that's real titties, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Do you have an idea for your final score? Do you think you know? I think so. I think I'm ready. Josh. Yes. Three socks in your left tit and two socks in your right tit. Listen, 80s mom, she's had a couple babies. One of the boobies is milked a lot, and it just is not as perfect. It's, it's good that you brought up the babies, because I have a question. Sure. Where 
is the baby. Well, I'm an 80s mom. I don't pay attention to my kids. I just do a ton of coke. I don't know so why, but that was the right answer. Would you care to elaborate on your uh, makeup choice, Jacob? Yeah, I was just going for a little bit of a flare. Um, I know it's not very 80s mom, but I was just going for something a little bit different. Yeah, you landed somewhere around like Marilyn Manson keyboard player. Now, do you think you're setting a bad example for young Jacob here with that cigarette? Uh, we're way past that. I think we're ready to make our decision. Okay. Final score for Jacob. No, I'm not mad at that. All right. Not bad. Not okay. bad. Okay. All right. Final score for Josh. That's what Ooh. I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I feel good? pretty good about this. Yeah, I feel pretty good. Thank you, judges. Jacob, let me just say this. Dude, for real, you wear clothes like so well. Like when you put I don't that hate on, I'm this like, in all honesty. that doesn't look too terrible on you. Uh, but it, when we started model competition, the reason I was nervous is because you look like a model, and you had a, you have a good walk. So I knew I had to accessorize, and so but you, you nailed it. Yeah, I went I went technical again, trying to trying to do it like I did in the last couple ones that took technical over style. But uh, I think you definitely have your feet on this one, buddy. I love you. Love you too. I don't know if I want to hug you. With yeah, that. come on in. Mm. It's gonna feel good. No, it's good. You ready for your punishment? No. Come join a great community. Hi, ladies. Ask me all tips on how to live life with herpes. It's not that bad. How you doing, sir? Ask you want to ask any tips on how to live life with herpes? Yeah. It hasn't been a problem. Well, that's good. I'm glad you're here. You know, syphilis is way worse anyway. So. You guys want to ask me tips on how to live life with herpes at all? No? All right, cool. It's not that bad. You're missing out. You're missing out on a great community. All right. I don't know. In case, in case it does happen any point in the future. I do. I'm out here just trying to embrace everybody and make everybody feel better. Uh, I think. I, well, for me, I have to tell them before because for me, it's it's a common courtesy to make sure. It's a good question. I mean, I would kiss him, but I, but I have herpes, but he doesn't know that. And right. I, I didn't know that he had herpes until the sign. If you know what you know now, what would you have done with? I gotta say, probably protected sex would probably be my best bet. Anything else, boss? Yeah. All right, my friend. Thank you so much. You have a great day now, all right? That was so good. Do I keep going? Yeah.